Hi, I'm Jim Gehring from Brown Tool Auctions, here to tell you some more about some of the exciting antique tools we have listed in our June 27th auction in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Here we have an example of Charles Miller's 1872 patent plow plane. Now, Miller, of course, also held the 1870 patent, which was the basis for Stanley's uh, series of the 41 through 44 combination plow and filister planes which are very decorative and very nice, but uh, are not really that rare. The 1872 patent, on the other hand, was much more decorative, and it was only offered for sale for a couple of years before it was pretty much completely overshadowed by the 1870 version and taken off the market. So they're very uncommon. It was uh, available in two versions, cast iron with a copper wash on it and gunmetal or bronze. And the of the two, the gunmetal is by far the more rare. And this is an example of the gunmetal. It's in really nice condition, as you can see. Um, it does not have a cutter. But uh, that's not that big a uh, drawback. It is possible that the fence on it may be a reproduction. The consigner thought that was possible. It does not have a casting mark on it. Um, but if so, it's a really nice job. A lot of reproductions are kind of sloppily done. This one has nice, clear, crisp markings. The cast iron version had a bridge cast across here to provide a little extra support. The gunmetal version never had that bridge. This one does not have it, and I don't see any sign that there was ever a version there. So if they were, did make a reproduction, it was cast presumably from an original gunmetal gun uh, fence. So it's uh, even, even with the possibility that this is a reproduction fence, it's a very nice example of an extremely rare plane.